What's up guys, it's Eric from Yokoher Skateboards. And if you're joining us from our previous video, we showed some techniques how to uh, air out of the coping. So if you wanna take it to the next step and grab your board, I'm gonna give you the building blocks to gain to that, that skill set. So we're not gonna just jump into grabbing the board. What we're gonna do is um, we're gonna start with something called an early grab. So what the early grab is, it's gonna be you grabbing your board. There's a couple different ways you can do it for different grabs. And it's honestly, say I'm rolling down, right before I get to air out of the coping, I'm already gonna grab my board. So I'll show you a couple of uh, the early grabs. And what that does is it gives you the confidence of just feeling your board um, and kind of getting comfortable gaining a little air and being in that position where you're grabbing the board properly. Um, it's really helpful because it's at first, if you air out and you go to grab your board, your board might be over here or it just might not feel natural just learning that. I learned all the grabs I do out of quarter pipes and stuff like that, uh, starting at early grabs because uh, frankly, when I started learning how to do air outs like on quarter pipes, I was a young kid, small, and I couldn't get the ollie I needed. So I would have to grab in like a indie grab kind of um, grab or I would do a melon grab behind me and just kind of do like a little hop. And uh, that would gain me a little bit more air. And as I got older and more strength in my legs and more comfortable, I was able to ollie and do those maneuvers. But the early grab is perfect for learning and just getting comfortable with uh, grabbing your board out of um, like a lawn tramp or quarter pipe, any of that kind of stuff. So um, next clip, I'll perform a couple of early grabs I love to do and um, we'll break it down and just what you need to know before attempting it. All right, guys, there's a couple goofy, fun, early grabs I'm doing. The one I really like to do is the early grab tuck knee. So I did a couple of those. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna grab my board early and I grab it with uh, my left arm behind my knee and I grab it like an indie grab. But then as I air, I yank back. And so it tucks both my knees and it kind of gives it a really cool look. And that's how I actually learned the trick early grab technique before I learned how to air grab my board and then yank back and do the technique. So it looks like something like that. And it's just real stylish. Uh, I don't know, it reminds me of some cool like snowboarders or I know they're locked in and they, I don't know, it just looks real stylish to me. I, I love that grab. So let's go um, to the starting point of the early grab. So this quarter pipe is about, I don't know, maybe five foot, um, the one I'm doing it on. And what's cool is I have this nice little roll in, this flat area so I can kind of uh, uh, gain the speed as well as I'm not gonna be in anybody's way or anything when I'm learning these. So sometimes people will try to learn them like right in the middle and can kind of get in somebody's way, but right here, perfect spot. I know, I know not everyone has this at their particular skate park, but if you have a quarter pipe, and maybe just a flat area where you can gain some speed, then you can still do the early grab. So for me is get a couple pushes, come down this roll and I got good speed. I know I'm gonna make it up the quarter pipe. Um, for the early grab, I initiate it right about here. So right about 
that line, I'm gonna start grabbing my board. So right here at this little line, if you can see the crack right here, that line. So that's where I was grabbing my board. I had to do it a couple times to see actually where I grabbed the board. I haven't done these in a while either. But uh, so I, I grabbed the board right here. And your first instinct is, oh, I'm gonna hit my hands on the coping because I'm already holding the board. Um, I've done these tricks so long, like, or so many times, I've never hit my hand. For some reason, you come up, still holding, 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 and if you're right, holding right about there, you'll gain that momentum and boom, your hand's free. But I would say don't, uh, don't hesitate if you're going while you're holding your board and kind of back out because your, your body, you, you want to set up to where right when you grab, lean forward. You don't want to lean back because when you do that, you grab the board and you're leaning back, you could fall right when you hit the decking and fall back into the core pipe. We don't want that at all. Um, especially with these air tricks, I would suggest wearing a helmet, get some knee pads, elbow pads, just kind of pad up because uh, Enzo's seen me take some slams doing uh, when I would do the nose grab 360s or when I was trying to nose grab 540. Definitely the hips, elbows, I, I took some uh, lumps. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the thing we want to focus on we're gonna initiate the grab right about here. And then my body is kind of, my my weight distribution is gonna be on the front of my board. So whether, what happens, say I don't even air it or I just get little baby air, at least I know I'm making it onto uh, the decking. I'm not gonna fall back in. So the big thing with this trick is kind of make sure you have the speed, don't hesitate and um, just commit and lean forward. So there's a bunch of different early grabs you can do. You can do like the cannonball, which is a funny one. I've seen kids do that before, uh, where you grab the nose and the tail and you kind of just look like this. And uh, I like the early grab tuck knee. Um, that one's the coolest to me because it, it actually helped me learn. Um, it actually helped me learn how to do tuck knees. You know what? Let's um, kind of cap this off with here. I'm gonna hand the mic to Enzo and I'll, I'll do an early grab technique for all you guys. I know Enzo wants to see it. Right, guys that's the early grab um pretty much it was it's kind of difficult for me to do i haven't done early grabs in a really long time but all of like kind of the air out grabs all learned um when i was younger like through early grabs so the early grab is a good tool it's also fun to kind of throw a little joke trick around but um yeah it's been quite a long time since i've done them so we should actually do some videos soon about just different grabs and I can do those where you air out, grab the board, we'll do the tuck knee, we'll do some air walks, we'll do some 360s, some fun stuff. But uh, yeah, all of those, I, I think I learned uh, pretty much at the, the foundation were all early grabs. So that's 
that's how I do them. Uh, you guys can get creative with them. Send us your clips on early grabs. Um, we'd love to see them. We'll repost them. But yeah, those those are uh, how I do the early grab, and it helped me learn how to uh, launch out of quarter pipes and uh, kind of gain more air when. Uh, I was younger, that was the thing. I would love to come here. I didn't really necessarily have the skills to skate the quarter pipes or um, the stairs, the rails. I just wanted to learn how to, to get air. That was my goal as a kid when I would come here. And yeah, the early grab definitely helped that. So once again, thank you guys so much for the continued support um, from Yokoher Skateboards. Um, and myself as well as Enzo. Uh, please stay subscribed if you uh, currently are. And if you're not, you can go ahead and click the little subscribe icon. I think it's around here, right? <laughs> so go ahead and click that. Follow us on Instagram. We're always um, coming out with new content, uh, new products. Also, something I know you guys love, the giveaways. They haven't stopped. They're just pretty much just starting. This is summertime, even though doesn't really look like summer. I guess it's the tail end of spring because uh, summer, the first day, is on National Go Skate Day. So tell me what day National Go Skate Day is in the comments. And, uh, you know, you might have something special for you in uh, an email or uh, in the next video. So I'll catch you guys later.